We expected we are just about to enter by zone one. Now I promise you I'm going to be doing these daily updates so I've got to stick to my promise. In today's video we jump straight back into ICP but before we get into that you guys already know what time it is. There's already 6k of you lovely mother here. If you're not part of the family go drop me a sub, turn on post notifications, drop me a like, let's get into it. Alright you guys so I posted this video yesterday and if you haven't seen it i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the video but if you haven't then you can go and check out yesterday's video we actually added a new buy zone and at the end of today's video i'm going to show you how we've altered the buy zone for many of you investors so make sure all of you guys are paying attention and you stay to the end but let's have a look at this short clip we want to be getting that average price down but everything with icp is playing out as expected and why everyone's going on comments and they're saying oh we're dumping you know it's not really dumping guys it's a retrace we found resistance at this area that we've been tracking all the way down here and that was going to be at the beginning of february or mid to end of february all the way through till nearly april guys we've been tracking this and so far it is respecting the resistance right so lexception going on here lex told us that it's respecting the resistance what is it doing today respecting the resistance what are we going to do we're going to be acting accordingly now it wouldn't be a normal video if i didn't say 21 days until the bitcoin halving i bet my cap i bet my mic is like way too close and you guys are going to be like rip headphone users but 21 days until the bitcoin halving 82 bitcoin at 69k eth still below three and a half k and what did i say to you last time between 3.2 3.3 all the way to 4k eth is just ranging and our alts are going to range with eth as well and you can see icp has taken a little bit of a step back we peaked out at 8.8 .8 billion dollar market cap and we were at like what 20 dollars and now we're at a 7.8 billion dollar market cap we've dropped off 1 billion dollars guys and we're at 17 dollars for today now it's not as bad as it sounds now did you guys take action have you guys been making every day count because we've got 200 days we've got 197 days make every day count from now on guys because if you don't you're gonna regret it so how many of you guys are sitting there at your laptop at your phone and your tv and you're looking at the prices of crypto and you're regretting not getting in earlier i know there are so many of you guys because there's friends and family who i've spoke to personally and they've said man i wish i just bought earlier and there's going to be many of you guys that look back at these icp videos and you regret it as well and again like i said we look into the trading view at the end but we were tracking icp between 10 and 15 dollars as our accumulation for ages so even in this retrace guys we're still not sweating it we're still up now shout out the boy beaver go and follow the team building on internet computer at definity and you can see here ai running fully on the blockchain guys and there are a lot of these projects that say they're ai say that they're fully on the blockchain and it's a load of bs and we're actually going to show you an example in a second guys but go and follow the team go and follow beaver go and follow you boy lex money while you're at it i appreciate all of you trying to get to 1k twitter followers but ai fully running on the blockchain i told you guys time after time that icp covers everything everything so everybody who's fading it they're gonna get to know very soon currently guys dom and the team at icp they are doing god's work icp going underway with its workshop in eth soul 2024 and obviously they're probably saying about how it is now a layer two for eth and how you can bridge tokens from eth into icp and you can make eth very fast very cheap very scalable through the use of the internet computer and it's not just eth guys it's bitcoin as well it is a layer two for bitcoin if you didn't already know now like i was just saying i mean first of all shout out bobby oh he's one of the true ogs and i've shown you something like this before so again go follow bobby but he did put a very good slide together today and i wanted to show all of you guys that now you're going to see here the issues of hybrid solutions guys now number one big tech can turn off that application whenever they want they can also get the apps to collect user data we're on the blockchain we're here for decentralization and privacy why are you investing in projects that are basically amazon right now it doesn't matter if the blockchain is decentralized if they depend on big tech or oracles facts security issues they are targets because there is a monetary benefit on top of this they're all small startups so they don't have a lot of security infrastructure in place no data ownership no ownership in general and this makes governance difficult slash impossible now what are the three main limitations of this guys 
Number one, computing power. Number two, storage. And number three is isolated. And you can see here this nice little hybrid model here to show that Google Cloud, Azure, AWS, a lot of your favorite coins are basically using these infrastructures to build out their project, guys. So as much as they are decentralized, they are not decentralized at all and we've covered this in the previous video so i won't go over it too much but this is where icp is so much different it has the computing power it has the storage and it is not isolated whatsoever guys so again many reasons why we're so bullish on icp and again the tech hasn't changed i said to you guys last time that when we go through a dip the tech hasn't changed it's just getting better and when you're seeing icp at 17 dollars, and you know that the project is constantly improving you're getting a bigger discount for a better gain basically guys okay that's how i see it and now before we do go into our trading view like i said we're gonna make this very short and sweet today icp forming a bullish falling wedge on the one hour time frame price is close to a one hour demand zone to fill the fair value gap guys and you know me i don't really like to zoom in too much to like the one hour 15 minute whatever it may be but i know a lot of you guys you want to see the smaller time frame are we breaking out are we breaking down it looks like a breakout on the hourly is imminent guys does this mean that we have to go straight back up? No, it doesn't. We can still try and get our buy zone one and buy zone two. And with that being said, let's look into our trading view. Bow, guys, my trading view deleted and I don't know what happened. So I had to go through yesterday's video. This might look a little bit different, but basically we're at buy level one, guys. We're at buy zone one and buy zone one was the top at around $17. I think we went to $16.99 a minute ago and this goes all the way down to $16. We've got buy zone two between $16 all the way down to $14.44 and then you've got all of this area that we had been accumulating for God knows how long. So guys, like I said, does this mean that we have to come down to this level? It does not mean that. It does not mean... ICP doesn't have to give all of you guys who missed this a chance it doesn't have to give it to you however it doesn't have to give all of you guys who got in here instant gains okay we need to see retraces and we need to see holding of structure guys and right now we're holding this high here if we lose this we hold this high here if we lose this we hold this high here if we lose this then we come all the way back down to around ten dollars guys and that could happen if bitcoin has a harsh rejection now i know a lot of people are going to have different views on the charts but what I'm doing is I'm sticking to my game plan and accumulating because that has worked so well for me so far. And to be honest, everybody who was fudding down here saying, why are you buying here when it could go lower? Everyone who was saying up here, buy more because we're going to go higher. I said to you guys, no, there's no way we're going higher after the first, the first resistance. Like we need to tackle this a few times. And that's what we've been grinding out for, for months, guys. And this has only really had what? One, two, three, four five touches on this resistance will this sixth touch be the one that makes us break through all of you guys can let me know what you think in the comments but for now i've dragged the buy zones down a little bit more and to be honest this doesn't have to come guys we may just bounce straight off 17 dollars will that happen i'm not too sure i do think that we need to let a little bit of steam out i mean we were going up 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 we were at like what 100 percent basically in the space of a few days so these retracements they're all part of the process guys and it does not it doesn't worry me at all okay even if you guys got in at 19 20 dollars shouldn't worry you because you're getting it at 17 dollars now perhaps 16 perhaps 15 will you take action at these areas because even right here i've bought a tiny bit of icp just in case my lock is not on my side today and then we just decide that we don't want to fill by zone one or two let me know what you guys are going to do in the comments but that's it daily updates i told you we're going to keep them very short and sweet so let me know what you guys think of icp in the comments and again if you got this far i appreciate all of you and until next time it's me with lex money i'm gonna see you in the next one peace